हाई एंड वेलकम सो आई एम बैक विथ येट अनदर टॉप ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन एंड दिस टाइम विथ सैमसंग इफ यू आर फॉलोइंग दिस सीरीज आई होप यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन बिकॉज प्रैक्टिसिंग कोडिंग इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट टू गेट प्लेस्ड इन टॉप टेक कंपनीज करेक्ट ओके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड नाउ विथ टॉप ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन ऑफ सैमसंग वी आर गोइंग टू सी बिट मेनुपुलेशन क्वेश्चन ट्रीज क्वेश्चन एरेज क्वेश्चन डायनेमिक प्रोग्रामिंग क्वेश्चन फाइन अ लॉट ऑफ टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो बिफोर वी मूव फॉरवर्ड डो नॉट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो आई एम शेयरिंग दिस लिंक इफ यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दिस सीरीज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम ओके आई एम शेयरिंग दिस लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एज वेल वे यू गैस कैन प्रैक्टिस द क्वेश्चन फॉर डिफरेंट कंपनीज when we have curated for you it is free just go and practice fine so here we are going to see top 25 samsung set 1 okay this link will also be shared so let's see the top 25 questions of samsung now now if we go for let's say the sub array question fine so this particular question says sub array correct now this particular question says that we need to find the contiguous sub array okay with the maximum sum i mean to print the maximum sum fine so how do you find it it is nothing but cadenas algorithm okay we have the video for this and we'll attach the video link in the description box where uh, mamta mahima has explained about the cadenas algorithm so it's a direct implementation for that particular algorithm it's a very important algorithm to learn okay many questions are asked based on this algorithm very standard algorithm fine so again i will give, be giving you the hints on how to solve this questions which algorithms are used which data structures are used but you need to practice it out fine and if there is any doubt please put it on the comment box moving forward find triplets is uh, two pointers algorithm correct you need to use two pointers algorithm for this particular question uh then you can go for arrange it for arrange it says given an array of integers a that contains both odd and even integers sort them in such a way that the first part of the array contains odd sorted in descending order rest portion contains even sorted in ascending order it's a very simple question i think you guys can solve it okay so if it is allowed to use extra space fine so it's very easy you just need to put even elements in one array odd elements in another array sort the even array in ascending order sort the um, an odd array in descending order and merge the arrays that's it so if you go for the next question uh, let's say we go for flip bits okay it's a bit manipulation question flip bits so how will solve this particular question given two numbers a and b write a program to count the number of bits needed to be flipped to convert a to b okay so if a is 20 and b is 25 so number of bits needed to convert a to b fine okay. so we know that a is 10100 in 20 in bit manipulation in the bit format is 10100 25 is 11101 okay now so now let's see which bits we need to convert first one we do not need to convert second we need to convert because zero we need to change to one third will we need to convert because one we need to change to zero fourth we do not need to convert fifth we need to convert so three bits we need to flip so that a can become b so how can you solve this particular question so just think about it we first need to find out which bits are different from one another so which operator can be used come on it's very easy which operator can be used to find out that which bits are different from one another it's xor operator correct because xor operator simply tells me directly okay so 0 xor 1 is nothing but 1 and 1 xor 0 is nothing but 1 fine so if two bits are different from one another we get one as the output correct so if we xor these terms we will get 0 1 1 0 1 and in this now you just need to count the number of set bits count number of set bits correct that's it and now and now how do you count num- how do you count number of set bits so it's a bit manipulation it's very simple it's a very famous uh, question that how do you count the number of set bits okay you will use and operator and while loop that's a hint okay try to do it fine moving forward now we got for flip bits egg dropping is uh, again a dynamic programming question left view is a tree question fine so given a tree we need to print all the nodes which are coming to the left side which will be if you view the tree from the left side you will get that particular all the nodes okay the left side nodes we need to print out fine that's it so how you will you do it 
just try to pause the just pause the video and try to think about it okay it's not that difficult first hit is level order traversal okay you can simply use level order traversal to solve this particular question fine so i hope you have tried it out so if you use level order traversal okay now we know how level order traversal works fine so in the level order traversal whenever a level changes okay after that the first node is always the leftmost node correct as soon as the level changes the first node is the leftmost node so one okay then the level changes we go here so this node two is the leftmost node then we go to three then when the level change we will again to go to the leftmost node then when the level change we will again go to the leftmost node so you just need to keep track of this use level order traversal just keep track whenever the level changes whatever the first node that you encounter print its data value that's it try to solve this particular question again not difficult correct fine so now if you go for let's say convert some tree again a tree question i am taking fine so let's see what is the question first a sum tree is a binary tree where the value of a node is equal to the sum of the nodes present in the left subtree and right subtree you are given a binary tree and the task is to convert the tree into the subtree fine so we have a video to check whether a tree is some tree or not i will attach it link it's link okay to check whether the tree is a some tree or not fine so from that video you can get a hint to how to solve this particular question okay to convert into a some tree there we are checking here we are converting fine so you'll get a hint from that video now if you see this you will find out how to solve this particular question and so if you see this particular example here now how we get a sum tree so it's nothing but uh the node value for any value the node value okay is nothing but the left value plus right value correct so for this particular node the answer is 10 plus 5 15 you can see here for this particular node the answer is the sum of the left subtree and the sum of the right subtree fine so it is nothing but 70 plus 10 plus 5 set okay 70 plus 10 plus 5 80 plus 1 plus 2 fine the whole answer is in the root so the sum of the left subtree plus the sum of the right subtree okay is the answer of that particular node fine now if i get this node value is 10 plus 5 15 Okay, but we also need to store this seventy somewhere because we need to return seventy plus ten plus five. Okay, so when we are returning, so before this we can get old value equals to the current value. Fine, and when you are returning it, you can simply return old value plus the new value, or you can also say the new value. Fine, I have given you a hint how to solve this question. Check that particular video of check some tree. Fine, so we have I think seen. uh six seven questions till now fine ha uh, so i have merge sort is normal merge sort procedure it's a very famous question okay to get the merge sort okay the egg dropping i have already said fine so i have given you a hint of at least the seven questions how to at least start solving the question correct so go and try and solve remember the more you practice the better you will perform in interviews and the whole just whole series of just giving you hints of some questions is just to motivate you guys and give you a platform to solve as much as possible and to solve the questions which are asked by the companies or the level of questions the same level of questions that are asked by the company if there is any doubt if for some question you want some help just comment down below okay do subscribe our channel if you like the video do share it and let's meet in the next video thank you bye bye adios